Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Sat here helping you go from daydreaming about development to being an actual developer. So first of all, thanks for all the positive energy. Thanks for the comments, the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be covering a few more tutorials on augmented reality this year. I think augmented reality is going to be huge. Um, I mean, we're really going to see it push heavily now. So um, the first channel, first video of the year should probably be covering the new AR Core Developer Preview, so Preview 2, which is being released. It was released in December. It's similar to the old one, which is what we've been using all the time, really. Uh, some changes in the code. Um, but I'm going to go through the guide again for newcomers to the channel. And if you've already seen the guide, uh, you might want to follow through. There's a few differences um, that you might be interested in. It would help if you go through the older tutorials of mine. Uh, it will clear up why certain things might not be working and what you need to change in the in the old code. So I've downloaded the... So yeah, it's, it, you have to go through this Getting Started guide, same as before. Uh, install the latest version. So I've actually got uh, 0.3... Point three, uh, my my Unity version, which is the latest beta version that I can download. Uh, you also need to make sure you have downloaded the AR Core Preview 2 APK to your Android phone. So before it was just a AR Core Preview. Now you need the second one. Uh, and again, you can download this to your computer first. Just email it to yourself. You don't have to necessarily do that. I think. Uh, Personally, I think it's actually quicker to just email it to yourself and open it up. As long as you've got your developer settings on, that should be fine. And we're just going to go through this now. So um, I'm starting up a new project, uh, and I'm just going to hit Create Project and Get Started. Okay, so I've got my standard project up and ready. So I've got Unity 2017.3.0 F3. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit uh, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to build settings and I'm going to change our project from a PC Mac one to an Android one. Uh, so I'm going to hit switch platforms there. And once it's done, I'm going to go to assets, import, custom package, and I'm going to download the, oh, so I'm going to import, I should say, the AR Core Unity SDK Preview 2. That's the important important part of it, make sure it's got the two at the end, the Unity package that I have already downloaded from the um, the getting started guide. Uh, and when I do that, I'll get this up and I'll import all of that. And I'll show you the next steps. Uh, so this this one, the preview two actually comes with a new scene. So there, uh, uh, a new demo scene. Um, which is kind of cool actually, it looks a lot nicer. Um, it's a new kind of feature that wasn't available in the first one, so we'll cover that as well. Right, so this is where I, had, where I downloaded that, that preview, the preview 2, so make sure you download that. Um, and now I'm just going to go through these steps so you can go through them with me from the guide. I'm going to go to change the player settings by going to the build settings and hitting player settings I'm going to close this because I don't need that anymore then I'm going to go to um, I'm going to have a quick look at this other settings I'm going to change the package name so that when I build I don't have any issues so I'm going to just change it to my name AR Core and then AR Core 2 second version and then I'm going to um, go to other settings as well, which I think I'm still in. Yep. And I'm going to change switch off multi threaded. I'm going to change other settings, minimum API. Where is it gone? Have I, have I, oh, there we go. We'll right past it. Uh, to seven. And then I'm going to leave that as highest. And then the last thing is just going to AR settings and clicking AR core supported so if you remember the previous one that we did it didn't say i a r course it's tango supported so they've officially google have officially ditched tango uh, they've dumped tango poor tango got dumped for a r core so <laughs> 
So I'm going to go to projects, I'm going to go to Google, I'm going to go to example projects, and then we've got our standard Hello AR one. So I'm going to quickly throw that in just to test this out. Uh, I know exactly how this works. Uh, let's just have a quick look at something. Now, if I click on this Andy prefab and I pull him in, one thing you'll notice is actually the Andy prefab does not have, which it did have before, um, there was a additional script that you had to add to the objects to kind of make them stick to the surfaces. Um, I think it was called like an anchoring one. That's no longer there now, so it's a little bit easier to attach objects. So there's no need for that one now. Okay, so let's let's build this one by going to build settings and making sure hello AR is in our build scene and then we're going to build and run this one. Okay, so I've started the app now and we can see that it's asking us for permission to take pictures and record video. So I'm going to hit allow, pretty standard. And now um, we can really have a look at the app. So same as before, tracks the floor. If I tap, I can put on the Android prefabs. And if I switch the light off, they should go dark as well, which is brilliant. And I love the fact that it happens immediately. So uh, that's pretty useful. Let's take a look at the second demo scene as well now. So that worked great. So let's try out the second um, example. And this one's a really cool one. This is called computer vision. So let's go to the scenes, drag the scene in, remove the hello, hello AR one. Drag computer vision into the build settings and untick hello AR one because we're not using that one now. We're just testing with computer vision and then hit build and run. So as you can see, it creates this kind of mask effect and everything above the mask is your normal camera view and everything beneath it is the viewpoint of you know a cat or, or computer vision which is what they're calling it really what it's doing is just finding the edges of um, of objects and highlighting them in, in white and ignoring everything else and presenting it as black which is really cool 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 effect and it's nice of them to throw in this free demo scene for us to use and maybe adapt uh, for future courses or, or demos or games or whatever we want so uh, maybe we'll do that in a future tutorial. I hope you've liked this uh, first video of the year. I'll try and do weekly videos uh, going forwards as well. Um, and um, yeah, leave a like and a comment. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.